Internal Revenue Service IRS tax news. Treasury IRS issue guidance on corporate stock purchase excise tax in advance of forthcoming regulations. But first, a joke. I swear this entire new gender identification thing is just some kind of academia 136th wave feminist deconstructivist movement to make men call themselves sissies. Oh, sissy. Ugh. I'm telling you. No, 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 I'm telling you guys. Uh, it's just like when some bully makes you punch yourself in the face and then they're like, why are you punching yourself in the face? Ha ha ha. Stop hitting yourself. Take. What? Stop hitting yourself! Stop hitting yourself! Whoa. Stop hitting yourself! Whoa. I mean, these academia 136th wave feminist deconstructivists are like, Why are you calling yourself a sis? Ha ha ha, you sissy. And it's like, Why did I call myself a sis? Because the only other choices on the online application form were like transgender and non-binary for crying out loud. I mean, the application form wouldn't let me continue without choosing an option. But this isn't a presidential release of prisoner form. Those are blue. Oh, I'll stay here. Okay. You forced me to call myself a sis, dang it. And they're like, whatever, sissy. I bet you like hitting yourself in the face too, ha ha ha. I'm telling you, those sneaky 136th wave feminist deconstructivists. I mean, they act like they're including some large spectrum of, I of gender identity. But on the application, they only let you just cross over the line of possibly being a man. They're like, you can be a man, but you have to just barely be over the center point to sissy man. And, excuse me, but if we're making up spectrum of gender characteristics, I don't think sissy man should be like the end point of the male side of the spectrum. I think the the spectrum conti- I want to be self-identified as Rambo. Which should be acceptable. Given the fact that realism doesn't seem to be a thing with these self-identification process. Dang, academia, 136th wave feminist deconstruct- I mean, think about it. In normal life, if someone called you a cis, you'd think they were picking a fight, would you not? It would be a perfectly reasonable assumption. Your grandfather was a thieving bastard stable boy. What did you say? But then with these job applications, that's like the least offensive choice. Obviously there's a translation problem here. Hooker, prostitute, slut for money. And, and how dare they? How dare they? Well, now you're crossing the line. No, you are crossing the line. Don't they know I'm a privileged patriarchal white male around here for crying out loud? How dare they do this manipulative stuff? on the application. No, no, says the Academia 136th wave feminist deconstructivist. Sis is a perfectly normal term. You're the cruel one for not using it, they say. Just watch me. It's so simple, you sissy Mary. But honestly, I, I feel like there's some ma manipulation going on here. I mean, now Bambi, who started that forest fire that killed your mama? I've never heard of the term until like five seconds ago for crying out loud. I mean, I don't even know what it means. Uh, this trial is the biggest load of- I, I heard that it somehow stands for like the same sex you were presumed at birth. Two bodies sharing the same feet? But, but even that doesn't make any sense. What does that even mean? Uh, I mean, my cousin had a kid just last week with a Johnson that weighed one third the entire baby's weight. And, and the doctor still refused to identify the gender at birth. So, so like how, how can cis mean the sex you were presumed at birth if they stop presuming a sex at birth? I'm- Fuck the place! Hey! Hey! What do you mean? I'm telling you, they're just trying to make you call yourself a sissy. Even the guy running the scoreboard up there says he was out. And he's way up there in the mezzanine. Hey. 
IR 2022-228, December 27, 2022, Washington. The Treasury Department and the Internal Revenue Service today issued Notice 2023-2, there's a link to that here, which provides interim guidance regarding the application of corporate stock repurchase excise tax until the issuance of proposed regulations. The new code section added by the Inflation Reduction Act. Once again, I don't know. Do you think... Do you think they had like inflation reduction in mind when they added this? Because I've been hearing a lot about the Inflation Reduction Act and a lot of it doesn't seem related to inflation. But anyways, the new code section added by the Inflation Reduction Act imposes a 1% excise tax on the aggregate fair market value of stock repurchased by certain corporations during the taxable year subject to adjustments. The Treasury Department and the IRS have issued Notice 2023-2 to provide certainty to taxpayers in advance of January 1st, 2023, the date on which the new excise tax will apply to stock repurchases. Notice 2023 Dash two describes certain rules and procedures that the Treasury Department and the IRS intend to include in the forthcoming proposed regulations. Taxpayers may rely upon Notice 2023-2 until the issuance of the forthcoming proposed regulations. So this is kind of the, in the interim notice to give guidance until they kind of nail things down. It's my interpretation. Notice 2023-2 also uh, solicits comments on the rules contained in the notice and certain other issues under consideration. The Treasury Department and the IRS recommend that such comments be submitted within 60 days of the date on which the notice is published in the Internal Revenue Bulletin. So you can comment on them. Maybe you want to ask, you know, how some of this stuff that's under the Inflation Reduction Act relates to inflation reduction and why the, they keep on giving these misleading kind of titles that don't seem to represent anything that's actually inside the bill that they're passing because it's confusing it seems really manipulative and i i'm whatever in any case there's a link to that notice here if you want to check it out and there'll be a link to this in the description